Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome. Quacky, we've been over this. Let me do the intro. Just relax. Quacky never listens to me. Anyways, welcome back to the episode of Fish for Flare. Today, we are at, well, we're at my house, but then we're headed to the farm. But before we do that, boom and boom and boom and, and boom. There's a lot of merch. Drops today. Right now, go click the link down below. I've been talking about it for months. This is the biggest drop the Guggen Squad has ever done. That camo hoodie that actually Bonzo's wearing. Oh, let, let get your layers off. Oh, Strip oh, for me. There, there you go. There, now we see it. Now, 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 you. Oh, oh, and the hat. Look at the hat right there. Boom. And a whole bunch of other items. They'll be linked down below. Today is the drop. And it's all limited edition stuff when it's sold out. We've made limited runs. When it's sold out, it is gone. For good. So if you guys want any of the Google Squad merch and each item you purchase equals one entry to win a fishing trip with myself and the rest of the Google Squad. So if you buy four hats, you get why did I hold up five when I said four? I don't know. If you purchase four hats or four t-shirts or four, four hoodies or whatever, you get four entries to win a trip with the Google Squad. So if you want an opportunity to come fish with us, come hang out for a weekend, go click the link down below and go check out the new merch. It's the most fire merch. We got the new hunting merch, and the new Guggen hunting merch is all linked down below. If you guys wanna go check it out, but before we get started today's video, I'll just tell you right now what's gonna happen. We're gonna blow up the beaver dam, damn it. All right, that's exactly what's gonna happen. We've had enough of the beaver shenanigans. It's finally trapping season and uh, we gotta blow up this dam. And so we bought a lot of boom boom. If you guys remember last year's videos, we used boom boom a lot to blow it up and uh, we bought basically everything of boom boom that the store carried. Literally bought out the whole selection. We've got more boom boom right now on hand than we've ever had before. And we're gonna take the beaver dam here in a bit. But before we do that, we gotta tend to the animals. How you doing goats? You guys just chilling? You knocked, you knocked over the play set again, Felipe. We've been over this. I, I think you're a big boy. It was definitely you. You're not looking. You knocked over the tires. Just ridiculous, man. Just the, the lack of respect around here. Go, Felipe. Vamos. 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 Rick, Ricky. There you go, Karen. There you go, Karen. Rick. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rick. Do you need me to put the board down? There you go. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. Vamos. There you go, buddy. Well, we're letting the goats graze for a little bit before we head down to the farm. Just giving them fresh pasture. I keep saying that every video, but you know, obviously it's getting cold out here. This grass is not going to be nice and plush and plume for them. So I'm trying to get them out, even if it's for 10 minutes a day and then you got to put them back in the cage. It ain't a big deal, but we're going to let them rip for a bit. We got to fix their playground. Boom. We fixed it. A little playground for them. They love jumping on stuff. All the goats are good. Water. Good. They've got hay. They've got grazing. Time to check on the chickens. <laughs> What up, chickens? Cracky, why, why? Why does your water look like that? I filled it up last night, and it was clean. Quacky. The one thing I don't like about the ducks, I love the ducks. Quacky, well, two things. Quacky interrupts me a lot in the intros. Two, they dirty their water every freaking day. They're the most high maintenance animals on the farm. So you're looking at getting that ducks, be careful. I, not that I regret what I did, but I probably wouldn't do it again. Bonzo, what'd you bring the chickens? I don't know. Some chicken food. It's a party block. Party block or something like they that. They don't like it as a block though. You have to shred it for them? Yeah. You're like the mama bird that has to chew the food for them. You got bougie chickens. You know what? I can't help that. It looks like some quack snacks in there maybe. And there's some like seed. Maybe some maybe some corn. But basically, oh wow, this is kind of hard. Make it rain on these chickens. There you go. Hey, hey, that's a knife, Quacky. All right, you trying to get yourself in the catch and cook episodes? You stop that. Eat up, boys. Well, we got the snacks. We got to check out some eggs. We haven't checked the eggs today yet. Chickens are loving it. We need to change James Pond and Quacky Chan's water, but let's see how many eggs they got. Taking guesses? I'm going to guess eight in this box. I'll go six. Five. Oh, oh we got one over here. We got seven. seven. Who said Ooh, seven? I said eight. Ooh, we were all wrong. But we got seven, so that's good. They actually laid in the other box. So that's good. We got some eggs for breakfast sometime. Or some... Bonzo's into baking cake, so he usually takes all the eggs every time we harvest them. You like chocolate cake or vanilla cake the best? Vanilla cake. Yeah, you look like a vanilla cake guy. Well, we got everything filled up. We got new water, food. This bag's almost gone. I swear, I don't know if I'm overfeeding these things. I mean, I'm just letting them go on auto feed. I think I bought this bag like a week and a half ago. The whole thing's already gone. I don't know if it's the ducks or the chickens that are eating a bunch, but it's supposed to get really cold tomorrow, which is one reason why we're blowing up the beaver dam today, because that mud's going to freeze. So I want to make sure there's plenty of food. That way, obviously, I'll come check on them tomorrow, but now we've got plenty of food throughout the night and stuff like that. But tomorrow's the first night of real good cold weather. So I want to make sure all the animals 
are prepared. Shoo! Well, we're done. Done with the animals. They're taken care of for now. We'll go check on them a little bit later. But we're back up at the house. And before, before we get started, going down to the beaver dam and start raising hell. Bonzo, he's been wanting to shoot the double barrel. We got to shoot some skeet, trap, clays. You guys stay tuned. Got to polish up on the old duck hunting. We're not duck hunting today. So you got to keep your shooting eye strong. Anyone ever say that? Nope. Okay. You're the first. See if, uh, see if Bonzo can hit this. Oh. <laughs> You're still prepped for duck season. Yeah. You think I am? You think I'm gonna miss? I've I been I've been it. killing birds, man. You've been killing birds. Been on it. You've been been on killing it. the birds, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. What which which trigger do I pull on this? Pull the back one. This guy. Yeah. All right, on brother. All right, pull. Oh, hew! That was a tough shot too. Straight away. What about you, Johnny? You thinking? You thinking you're you ready for this moment? Hit there it. we go. That Going was a wounded. One, baby. That was a wounded duck, though. Right. That was a cripple. Well, I think we're ready for the duck blind. Even though we're not duck hunting, you always got to be strapped. You always got to be prepared for when ducks fly. We might even bring a gun down here for doing a little duck hunting. Anyways, we shot. We shot some. Tra oh, here goes another one. And he hit it again. Yep, you're ready. Dab. Hey, last Perfect. time we went to the beaver dam, there was ducks there. There was. We should bring an old shoddy. Yeah, you're right. There, we, last time we were at the beaver dam, there was some woodies. So uh, everybody loves woodies. So we're going to uh, actually bring. We'll bring a shoddy in. Now we're ready. So now our preparation actually is gonna pay off because now we're ready to shoot some wood ducks, if there are any there. But we're gonna load up. We, we're gonna take the boom boom, the pew pew, and we're gonna head to Beaver Dam. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! Well. Oh no, oh, 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 Bonzo, get the gun. Bonzo, look at the wood ducks. Shouldn't have jumped out and given it the woo. I jumped out and gave it the woo, Bonzo. Is it loaded? Nope, here's your gun. Oh. Well, we found wood ducks. Those weren't all wood ducks. No, those were a bunch of mallards that just got out. Oh god. oh god, look at them all. I got one. Well, no more coming, but daddy shot a green head. I did not expect to hit one. That was probably one of the furthest shots I've taken, farthest shots I've taken yet this year. A bunch of green heads got up and I popped one and then the rest pretty much got away. But I think we should hunt this spot. I mean, I know what you guys think, we're about to drain this, and the reason why there's ducks here is because it's flooded, but corn is more important than ducks. Believe it or not, more important. But I still think even if we blow up the beaver dam today and it drains a bunch, that there's still be enough water for these ducks to come back. So I think we need to come hunt this, maybe in the next day or two. Just literally just sit here. There's all those woodies, those are beautiful, plumed out wood ducks, beautiful green heads. But I don't have waders on, so we need to go back and get waders and grab the mule and I need to go get that bird and then we're gonna start some destruction here on the beaver dam. You guys stay tuned. Shoo! All right, folks, well, we got the old waders on. We are ready to rock and roll. Bonzo, you're the dog, you gotta go find that bird for me. What we did while well, I didn't have the camera going, we got all the boom boom ready. We got like 32 or 34 or $400 worth, essentially, of boom boom. The most boom boom we've ever done. I mean, we're probably double last year's boom boom. And we've got some shovels and some rakes and hose and all sorts of stuff. We gotta go check out the beaver dam. If you guys are new to the channel, discovered this beaver dam last year, blew it up a couple times. We trapped, what, three beavers here, I think, last year? And they're back, and there's more than ever. This is all swampy, and it ain't supposed to be swampy. So this is a cornfield. This could be corn but it was too moist to plant this year. And so we're trying to kill the beavers and destroy the dam to let this water go down. Although it'll ruin the duck hunting here. I know, I know, I know, I love duck hunting, but corn's more important. So we're gonna try to, the, we're not setting any traps today, but the goal today is to just blow it up, get it running, get the beavers all angry, all right? You gotta get them wound up because we're about to go to battle. They don't know what's coming. They haven't been messed with in like nine months, but today's the day that we blow it up as much as we possibly can with 34 pounds of boom boom basically try to let this thing drain as much as possible and then when they rebuild it then you strategize for putting the uh, traps in it because essentially we expect the holes to be so big it'd be pretty impossible to trap if you guys know anything about beer trapping you'll see some future videos we don't i don't really know a ton about it but i know enough to well you know we trapped like three last year so anyways today's goal blow this sucker up you guys stay tuned don't worry we got the boom boom Cheese and rice, boys. This is the beaver slides. We call beaver slides. Like I guess if you're new to trapping, we'll try to teach you something. I'm not an expert. These are all the trails. What they do is they run out and they eat corn and they do beaver things and then they come back 
and this is their slide. It's like a slip and slide. So this wouldn't be a bad spot to put some traps, but that's not the goal today. We're not trapping today. We're just blowing it up. Well, so this is kind of, uh, well, this is new. All right, like I said, if you're new, it's kind of hard to go back. You guys should probably just need to go watch some other videos, but there's a dam that runs all the way over there. We're guessing, what did we say it last time? 60 yards? Yeah. 50 yards, 50, 60 yards, dam. I mean, you're talking a long freaking dam, but this is such a small dam, it really wouldn't do much if we broke it. I mean, we might throw some small boom boom charges in there. Maybe that's the strat, but like, I'll show you Mega. The, Meg the Megalodon giant freaking beaver dam is the one we gotta blow up. That'll do the most damage to the beavers and get them all wound up and we'll see how quickly they can fix it but this is the biggest dam you ever damn seen except for maybe the hoover the hoover's probably a little bit bigger than this so right here is kind of the beginning of the big one and it runs all the way down there so last year none of this all this none of this existed it was dry land but they kept building it up more and more and more last year we blew it up right here and it was actually like two feet lower i mean this is all brand new and it goes and it wraps and goes all the way around back there it's insane i mean they've raised the water level a lot based on where i think we can shoot from i mean that's the biggest thing is you've got to be able to shoot a gun wherever we put the charges so that's kind of the tricky part here finding where we can do that but this this would be a good slide for water i think we could shoot from there if we can get to it which i don't think it should be wet over there i think that's where we did it last time so i would say here would be a good start because it'll rush and then the creek feeds it right here so you'd be you'd be blowing it out and it'd feed into the creek versus just like flooding like a field or something like that or like you know kind of over there but i think right here is where we're going to start so what we're going to do is the idea with boom boom is you want it to be up and under you don't want to just set it on top of something it ain't gonna do much you want it to explode from beneath and shoot mud and stuff up in the air so we're gonna start digging some holes here and we'll see what happens i'll try to bury those pretty good yeah not the best looking boom boom charge but we got to get a start we got to see what this can do i mean obviously we've got a lot more than this if we can blow a hole in this and then maybe go next to it the idea is we just want the biggest hole so we might have to kind of set some charges around but this will be this will be our test fire for the day and we'll see we'll see how it goes yeah, i got i got to shoot through quite a bit of brush but we'll try it okay boys ready Oh wow, I can't hear anything. How's it going? Well, that shot mud over. That's why I say about a mud bath. Everybody loves a mud bath. Oh, I can hear it. I can hear it. It's ripping. We gotta go check it out. Success! Oh my god. Look at it. Bro, that couldn't have gone any better. One. That was one. That was the test fire. Take that, beavers. Well, we got one down. We, it, we didn't even use like 10% of our boom boom, so the plan is just to just put charges all around, wipe this whole thing out. If they fix it, we'll come back and, uh, and try to trap them. All right, well, round two, we're going up. Last time we did, what, five pounds? Yeah, now we're doing six and a half. We're, we're working our way up. But the idea is that we do it next to the existing hole to hopefully make one big hole. We can stretch this maybe, you know, three or four breaches, basically, to where it's all ripping, and then the beaver's gonna have a real hard time fixing it. We're gonna do the same thing, dig a hole, throw a boom, boom, boom in it, and shoot it. You guys stay tuned. Ready? Woo! There she goes. Fire in the hole. Well, we kind of had a, a whoopsie. Only one of them went off, two of them didn't go. So I went and got four. We gotta make sure all these go off. We'll see if it works. It should be flowing like Bell Lowen. And fire in the hole. Woo! That one felt pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, she's flowing. I still don't know if they all went off. What do you think? Phew! That one worked. Look at it. That's good. We've got two. 
Bonzo's gonna go ahead and knock over this island here. Then I'm gonna go gr grab the rest of the Boom Boom, and instead of putting four and five together, it seems like it's hard to get them to all go off at once. We're gonna do two, 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 two. And then just rack them and see if we can get the whole dam to collapse. All right, well, we got all three out. Each one has between three and four pounds in it, and I'm just gonna go boom, boom, boom. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Fire in the hole. That was pretty loud. That one worked. Woo! One more? Yeah. One more! Fire in the hole! Oh my god! Oh, heads up! Oh Bro. my gosh! <gasps> oh my, Bonzo, that was the one you buried! Dude, that one hands down was the biggest. There was a huge clump this big. Oh, it was like two feet from my head. I know, let's go look at it. Yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, we had craters. That one was, it was the one you dug. I must, yeah. so we put three one pounders, right? Yeah. And Bonzo kicked his foot, so he like put it way under it. And that like one- a tunnel. It basically, he dug a tunnel and I got a lucky shot and hit all three of them. Oh my god. That was loud. I can't hear anything. <laughs> if you guys are doing this, wear ear pro. We didn't have any. And and eye protection. And I used to have some. Yeah, I'm not a safety kind of role model. That. But anyways, let's go check out the damage. Yeah. So what we found out was this one that Bonzo put, all three went off. This one only one went off, and that one only one went off. And that's why there's no water coming out through here. All the powder and the pellets didn't go off. It just means the bullet only hit one and the imp, the explosion didn't light off the other one. On Bonzo's, I hit all three. That's the way to do it. Boom, she ain't going nowhere. I feel like that's what everybody says when they, like, I feel like when you ratchet strap something down, you gotta go, oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. I feel like it's just guy code. It's just code in general for human existence to do that. Anyways, mules on the trailer. Everything's in the back of, the pickup truck and the beaver dam is in shambles right now. Will they fix it? Probably. It'll at least get them fired up a little bit, get them, get them out and moving. I mean, it dropped it like two feet in the 30 minutes we were here. The beavers probably aren't gonna come out till tonight, so I'd hope that it could drop another three, three feet maybe? Uh, not another three feet, in total three feet, um, at least to get it kind of down. And then, then we're gonna start strategizing. How can we kill these things? How can we trap them? And then it's gonna be just trapping galore pretty much all winter long so if you guys like trapping videos you get ready because we're going ham on all these beavers we're not sure how many there are we're guessing three to six is what i would guess as far as beavers go we got to kill every single one of them and then come in here with an excavator because we have that's the reason why a lot of you guys are probably gonna just get a long neck long reach excavator and dig it out but there's it's all flooded into the field so you can't get an excavator so we have to drain it let it harden up over winter or dry up or whatever and then get an excavator in there so it's kind of like a process and during the process we're gonna try to kill the beaver so remember New merch, this guy and a whole bunch of other designs will be linked down below. They're now available for purchase for a limited time. Everything's limited edition. Go check it out. And every item that you purchase is one entry to fish with the Guggen Squad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.